All right, good day, Matrix. Over here, we've got a front view and a top view. This is an exam question, um, past matric exam question. And the question gives you a front view and a top view. So this drawing actually consists of a hexagon prism. And within the hexagon prism is a hexagon pyramid hole going inside that prism. So the question also tells us to draw a front view. So this given front view. Then to draw a sectional top view. So this top view hasn't been sectioned yet. And then to draw a sectional uh, left view. Also the true shape of AA. I'm going to start here on my left hand side of my page. And I'm going to start with the top view. I'm going to measure out on my compass 42 millimeters. And use it as a radius. So starting with the top view. I'm going to draw out a construction circle and then from my center point over there I'm just going to draw a construction line I can use the point touching the circle as my first corner for my hexagon and I'm going to draw out that hexagon this is all still construction the reason why I'm drawing construction lines is because I have to keep in mind that this drawing is going to be sectioned. Right, so there's my hexagon. These six corners. I'm going to also take it up so that I can actually draw in a front view as well so starting just a few um, about a centimeter just above the um, top view i can actually start with the front view i'm going to draw in that base over there so i've basically drawn in this bottom side let me just move my board up so we can see the whole view 72 millimeters that's what i'm going to measure now i'm using my compass for measurements so there's 72. You can also use your ruler. I've now marked out the height. And I can now draw in the height as well. So I'm basically drawing exactly what's been given here in my question. Adding the lines in over there. And in the center. And then I'm going to measure... 10 millimeters over here for my cutting plane because the question gives me that 10 and then it runs from there to that corner so I'm going to add the cutting plane now so it's a long line shorter line longer line shorter line longer line shorter line and it ends off with a long line and that's called cutting plane AA right and then to measure out my uh, pyramid inside it's uh, 40 or sorry 64 millimeters high so I'm just going to measure over here 64 millimeters over there and then I'm going to add that in there So as easy as that, that's my given um, front view. Exactly the same as in the question. So now I'm going to look at the cutting plane. So when, I've, when I have a, a prism and it cuts through either the base or at the top over there, then I can bring that line straight down and I can actually draw in that line over there. So that's where my cutting plane actually cuts through the prism. It also cuts through the corner over here, which are these two sides over there. And I can actually draw in the rest of the prism. The pyramid is going to be a different story though. So even though it cuts through there, if I look from the top, I'll still be able to see that this, this little piece over here. So I'm also going to add it in here. So 
So that there's then my hexagon. Now let's quickly look at the parts where it actually cuts on the pyramid. So what I'm going to do is just with construction lines, I'm going to add in the pyramid lines as well. So just construction. And those vertical lines are already there. So to add in this cutting point over here, I'm just going to bring that straight down and it will actually cut it there. These two over here, it will actually cut exactly on those two corners over there. The problem is finding the cutting plane for that corner there. So to get it, I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to bring that corner horizontally across to the side of the pyramid and then from there I'm going to bring it down so that it intersects on the top and the bottom line of that angled pyramid. So now that we've got the two points over there we have to bring them back to this line over there and what we do is we use the outer corner which is that line over there and this line at the bottom and we draw or we take these points across parallel to that so to show you that's 30 degrees there I'm going to bring that corner there parallel to that line across to there and then at the bottom as well this is 30 degrees so I'm going to bring that corner across to there so this gives me my two cutting points. So now I'm going back to my original line that I've already drawn in there. And I'm going to connect that with those two new points. So the first the top, then the bottom. And that will then go to that corners where the cutting plane actually cuts. Now because this is actually when we look from the top, when we remove that top, this will create a hole inside. So this will stay a hole over there. But these two points over here will still go towards that corner. So we are going to add in our hidden detail lines over there. We're also going to add in our hidden detail lines at the bottom. We'll also add in hidden detail from those corners going to the base of our prism and then there we don't need to add it in. So this part over here gets sectioned and we use our 45 degree set square to add in that sectioning. So I'm just going to try and do it nice and neatly. And there we go, that is our sectioned top view then drawn. So now I'm going to add in a XY line like this. I'll use the base over here for my horizontal XY line like that. And then I'm going to add in a 45 degree construction line. So we are now busy doing the constructions for our left view that's get, that will get drawn on the right hand side. First I'm going to draw the prism. So the six corners of the prism, I'm going to bring it across. And I'm now just drawing it as if it hasn't been sectioned yet. So these points will all go up. And then I'm going to bring the top across. So this is all construction. So over here, this would be 
my left view of the prism if it hasn't been sectioned. But because it has been sectioned, we are now going to use some of these points over here and bring them across. So let's quickly look at it. If we number this, for example, say that's corner 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. That means of a corner 1 over here, if I look at my section point over there, point A, and I bring it across, then it will lie over there. If we look at the second corner, that's corner 2. In other words, this will be corner 2. My section point over there will be 2 will lie over there. So I have to mark it on line 2 in my left view as well. So if I bring this across, in other words, over here is 2 and it goes up there. That's where it will cut. Then on the same corner is 5. So I'm going to mark it there now as well. So I'm going to bring point 5 across and mark point 5 over there as well. So that's 2 and 5. And over here is 1. Done. The next corner is corner 3. So I've got a mark where it cuts on that corner, but it doesn't cut on that corner at all. So it actually cuts above it. So we're going to add those corners in last. The next corner is corner 6 because we've already got corner 5. And corner 6, once again, it's here at the bottom. So if I bring it across, it should be at the bottom over here. So to get these top two corners, I've got to bring them across to my 45 degree construction line and then take them up. And it's as easy as that. And these two points will cut at the top. So I'm bringing them across now. So that's the top point there and there. So to draw in this cutting plane, I will do that and that and I'll bring that across. So that there is a section. So to look at what will be left over. So everything above this line will be gone. In other words, these corners on the side, they won't be there anymore. But the corners at the top will be. So this will be there between those two points. And then at the bottom, we'll still have the whole six corners of our prism. So that's what we'll see with the prism of the, the section. But now what's left over is to draw in our pyramid. So I'm going to bring the top point of the pyramid across. And then once again, I'm going to draw the pyramid as if it was still here. So I'm going to use these bottom corners. So this is corner 2. In line with corner 1, I've got corner 1 and 3. Then I've got corner 4 and 6 because it's in line with one another and then corner 5 over here and right in the middle is the top point of the pyramid or should I yeah so that's the top point of the pyramid and all these corners obviously go towards that point so I'm going to draw in construction lines of all six corners going to that top corner there we go. So now to add in my cutting plane, I'm going to use the points that actually fall on the, th the six corners of the pyramid. So the first two lies over there. Now that's three and four's points. So here's my three and four. So if I bring this across, then between three and four, that's that corner over there or the, that little space there that's where it will actually cut then I've got the two on the side so that's two and five two and fives on the side so I'm going to bring that point across there and then I can actually draw it in from there to there 
and then the last two corners they will cut on the original points one and three so I can bring this down and I can bring that down so now that I've got my cutting plane marked out I'm going to see what corners will still be left over to add in my hidden detail so there will definitely be hidden detail running down from that corner to corner two and then the one from that corner to corner five the next two points will be solid lines so these going because that you'll be able to see it because this is a hole going through so I'll be able to see that then the corners at the back of the original prism so in other words four and six will be hidden detail so I'm going to add in that hidden detail lines as well and over here I'm going to add in the hidden detail lines So after I've added those hidden details, this over here is my cutting plane. I'm going to section it. Right, so there is our top view, front view and the sectional left view.